Panel community, uh, John K Tech it here, back for another update, another video. We've got lots of records here. I'm sure that I will not manage to show everything in this video, but I will try to show you as many as possible. Uh, hope everybody's fine. This is uh, the record that you just saw. It's a compilation. Yeah, that one. Um, Blue Note compilation with Bossa Nova um, hits of the label. Uh, to be honest, this is a copy for my shop. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not because most of the songs here I've got them in original uh, LPs. But you know, I think with Blue Note, maybe I will keep it. There are plenty of Blue Note uh, compilation. This one released on 1987 um, compiled by Gilles Pedersen and is a UK Blue Note copy uh, nice compilation I think if you like Bossa Nova it's not expensive uh, you can uh, check it out I order lots of Blue Notes for the soap and that's the problem because I want to keep almost <laughs> every copy of uh, Blue Note for myself first or at least I'm listening to a lot of Blue Note records at the moment um, I'm gonna show you some, some are 100% mined and some um, I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna keep them please let me know, give me opinions about the Blue Note LPs that you're gonna see if you think that this something is 100% worth it, let me know so uh, I can keep it for myself because I'm a little bit um, um, overdosed with jazz. I'm listening to lots of jazz and to be honest I need to listen to something else to clean my head, clean my ears uh, so I can be more open-minded while I'm listening to jazz. But uh, yeah, I mean, let's start. I'm gonna try to show you my blue note first. Uh, not sure if I will um, make it. This is a well-known compilation of uh, Blue Note, uh, mono pressing, uh, I think uh, it's a UK press, 99% uh, it's um, a UK press, mono press of this great 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 Art Blakey uh, A Night at the Birdland Volume 2 compilation which is, was in my wish list for so long I'm 100% uh, sure that I will keep this uh, dope record Clifford Brown, Lou Donaldson, Hora Silver, Art Blakey, check them out um, Yeah, I mean, it's a well-known Blue Note release at least for my wish list So glad that this thing is in my hands now I'm not gonna needle drop it I'm um, try to be fast um, yeah. Next one, uh, next two blue notes. Uh, yeah, this one. A late blue note release, a Herbie Hancock Prisoner uh, album. Um, yeah, this is more uh, later blue note stuff. I just needle dropped it. It was an okay LP. I think this is the first French copy. Uh, DMM, yeah, DMM means 80s, correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, yeah, this is a French Blue Note uh, label, uh, which is actually really pretty satisfied with the sound of those uh, DMM uh, French copies because I got some of them. Uh, musically, this is uh, later Herbie Hancock, Hancock uh, style, uh, pretty well known LP, and uh, yeah, let's continue. With uh, this thing, I was very very happy when it arrived, uh, Lou Donaldson, uh, here it is, uh, amazing cover, one of my favorites, maybe, my favorite covers, or at least it's really hard to choose your favorite covers when you're talking about Blue Note Records, but I really love this cover. Um, very good EP with uh, Grand Green, Bobby Face, 
Babyface Villette Sorry and David Bailey and of course Lou Donaldson uh, also Friends uh, DMM uh, copy Baraka Bidab I need your opinion about those pressings didn't have the time to listen to your pressings uh, the music matter yet to compare uh, because I'm overworking with my record store uh, but yeah I mean I'm sure the music matters will sound better than those ones but if you are familiar with these uh, copies made on any other VC member please let me know what do you think about the sound uh, I'm happy so far uh, with them um, yeah let me try to find the rest of my blue notes uh, Grail of Mine uh, yeah Satin Doll by Bobby Humphrey um, late 70s is it late 70s or early 70s um, anyway this is a fantastic LP really if you like it more uh, funkier I'm not gonna say disco but you know this kind of chillness from the 70s uh, this is a must have blue note record by a must have blue note artist uh, Bobby Humphrey. Uh, I believe this is my f- second favorite album of her. Uh, in my personal opinion, one of the top two LPs uh, by her, for sure. Out on Blue Note, of course. Um, yeah, I think um, that I have some more to show you. Yeah, that's the case for sure. I have lots of Blue Notes and I'm a little bit disorganized, so excuse me for, you know, the delay. Uh, this is uh, Caricatures by Donald Bird. This is more disco Donald Bird record. Uh, 100% uh, not his favorite record for my taste, but I'm gonna keep this thing because I love Donald Bird. This is an original copy, and uh, yeah, why not? I mean, <laughs> there are so many good records, so many Blue Note records to collect. Um, if you like the disco sounds of Blue Note era, I'm not the biggest fan, but it was an okay listen. Um, yeah, let me check what else do I have from Blue Note, so I can continue with the rest. Yeah, this is another Blue Note. I also post it in the VC Facebook page because of Lee Morgan's uh, birthday a week ago or something. Uh, this is um, delightfully Morgan. Um, in my personal opinion, um, yeah, this is also a DMM um, copy. Uh, in my personal opinion, it's not possible to find a bad Lee Morgan LP. So it's not my favorite, but it's very good. And uh, I just now realizing that I might have shown this in my last video, but. Uh, I'm not sure, excuse me if this is the case. Pretty good Lee Morgan uh, on Blue Note. Um, yeah. Let me see if there is anything else. Yes, it is. This is the Raja by Lee Morgan uh, out on Blue Note. Uh, again on DMM uh, 80s mastering. Uh, yeah. Musically. To be honest, in my personal taste, I prefer this better than the previous one, but uh, as I told you before, Lee Morgan is a good artist and you can't really find a bad LP uh, by him. I'm not gonna needle drop you the jazz, uh, I'm gonna needle drop you some more records, uh, not those ones. Um, this is a Blue Note release, but uh, reissued. Uh, by Heavenly Sweetness um, I didn't have the time to open it yet but yeah this is a masterpiece of uh, Herbie Hancock Willie Bobo which I really like his percussion and everything more Latin uh, approach uh, Paul Chambers and uh, wait a second because something is wrong with my laptop yes and uh, Chihuahua Martinez um, Inventions and Dimensions reissue on Heavenly Sweetness. Uh, 
Otherwise, it's similar to the original Blue Note uh, cover, I think. And uh, one more also from the same label, Heavenly Sweetness, a reissue for um, Kevin Doram, uh, funky masterpiece. Uh, not my favorite Kenny Doram album, but it was pretty good and highly recommended if you like it. More funky, Matador by Kenny Doram, uh, pressed on 100 gram vinyl. And because this thing is open, let me show you the label. Uh, not the Blue Note uh, label, Heavenly Sweetness. Uh, actually, I think, wait a moment. I'm not sure if this was originally released by Blue Note. Uh, maybe no, that's why. But anyway, even this way, you can check out the track list here. This is a very, very good, highly recommended uh, Funky Jazz um, LP. Now, uh, I'm not sure if I have anything else to show you from Blue Note. Uh, well, no, this is a mistake. I've got something more to show you. Yeah, actually, I've got... Um, this is an update copy, update first UK copy of Donald Bird, um, Blackbird. This is the first UK pressing. Uh, my personal, my personal Lee, uh, my personal favorite uh, Donald Bird album. This is more funky, but if you don't know this one, stop the video now and go and check it out. It's a must have record. Uh, really, if you like um, more uh, funkier uh, sounds from Blue Note. Uh, yeah, lots of Blue Notes, actually. I, was, I wasn't expect that. Um, yeah, this one too. Yes, Hora Silver, Silver and Wood. Um, I was expecting this a little bit worse than uh, what it actually is that means that I, I like this album uh, oh, for sure not his favorite not my favorite LP by him but it was a pretty nice listen um, yeah you can check it out um, I was expecting it more you know more later horror silver sound but actually it's not that bad at all actually Silver and Hood, out on Blue Note. Um, I don't think I have to needle drop you those. Um, what else do I have here? Uh, yeah, maybe this one. Yeah, maybe this one. Uh, and I think this is the last Blue Note of the bunch. I'm not sure if I saw it before, but again, Mr. Donald Bird, uh, if not my favorite, his second maybe favorite LP uh, of his. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing record, really. This is um, Places and Spaces. It's a Yugoslavian copy, Yugoslavian copy. Uh, not a good pressing, but the LP is fantastic. And it's not very easy to find, especially in Europe. Check this out if you like Donald Bird. Um, you know something? Maybe I will stop this video now uh, because it's already 15 minutes and it's only Blue Note uh, on this update. So I'm going to name this the Blue Note update. And uh, I will do another video with um, needle drops and uh, other things apart from Blue Note. Uh, just to remind you that our Dab Baptism record number two is out. This is, these are the final copies. As you can see, uh, they are on a PVC plastic. They are crystal smoky clear uh, green blue record we are very satisfied with uh, the pressings let me play it a little bit to you just a little bit of uh, to have a little bit of taste it's dub techno uh, if you want to order it i will uh, write our bandcamp uh, page here 
uh, yeah, you can order it and um, I still got I think around 8-10 copies for the vinyl community so if you like it, this is it I'm pretty proud uh, for this recording it sounds good, the pressing is good and musically we put lots of effort to do this I will give you a couple of more uh, needle drops. This is dub techno. I know it sounds a little bit hard, but it's acoustic too. I mean, it's banging, but. Another one, another truck. Vinyl community, uh, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, we'll prepare. I'm gonna shoot another video. Thank you for watching. This was my Blue Note finds. Um, yeah, have fun. Love you all guys. Cheers.